What can we do to become more active in serving victims, even refugees, as we've been talking about as well? What can a person do to become involved maybe in an organization or something like that? I think, I think the first thing is becoming aware. A lot of people um, don't know about it. It's growing. A lot of people are starting to learn more about it. But um, we need to become more aware of this. And there, there are so many websites that uh, you can check out. There's so many nonprofit organizations. There's the Not For Sale campaign. There's the A21 campaign. Um, a group here in Chattanooga is called Second Life of Chattanooga. And they work with uh, sex trafficking victims here. And so the first step is awareness. Uh, the next step uh, when working with refugees is um, you can actually get uh, in contact with your local refugee office. Here it's the Bridge Refugee Services. And they have a website, it's bridgerefugeechat.com. And you can check out their website and they have information on how you can volunteer or even how you can donate. Um, because uh, a lot of items that are needed um, can, be, can be received through donations. Um, when it comes to, uh, to uh, human trafficking, I, besides awareness, I think, um, I think it's really getting the word out to other people, even if it's just one person. Um, because I, I can sit here and I can tell you about the depth of this, but I don't even think we all um, understand even the depth of it even farther because you have to consider the clothes you buy, the, the food you eat, for instance, chocolate. Chocolate's a, a main resource for people who are forced into labor. And coffee. Um, electronic parts to uh, cell phones like iPhones and Androids. A lot of small pieces are actually made by people who are forced into labor. And they're, they're, the depth of it is beyond what I think we can even begin to understand. And so there's, um, for people who do have a smartphone, um, there's a website you can check out. It's called Free to Work. And it's the, the number two. And they have an app that you can actually, uh, you can get and it's completely free. And you can scan barcodes. And it'll tell you um, the quality of the product and how it's made, the environment it's made, and if they're being, uh, if they're given the proper resources. And um, this just came out and so they're really, uh, they're really wanting people to get this and to really start asking. And the next step, I would say, is, um, is sending letters to your local city and your state um, legislators and saying, look, I, I will not stand for this. We need to do something about our policies because our policies are outdated. Um, and we're, we're so many footsteps behind these traffickers. And we, need, we, we don't need to catch up. We need to get ahead of them. And we need to stop them. And so, uh, sending letters to let them know, hey, I'm not okay with this. I want to do something, and I feel that you, with your, your point position and your power, you need to be doing something here in our city, in our state. And uh, finally, there's uh, opportunities to, uh, to do internships with nonprofit organizations. Um, I'm hoping myself to uh, do an internship with the A21 campaign and to go overseas and work with victims who um, have, have been rescued. And so there, there's a lot of opportunities. There's even opportunities in Atlanta uh, to get more involved there. Wow, that's powerful, everything you said there. Um, thank you so much, Michael, for thank you. joining us and, and actually open up your heart and uh, your passion for this. And uh, I hope that we'll all see a way to get involved in this. Thanks so much for bringing this to our attention. Thank you.